The question, what's going on here? As we're getting word of the Jackson family feud getting physical. Authorities were called to the Jackson home yesterday after a fight broke out. CNN's Alan Duke has obtained security camera video of the confrontation. This is between Michael's sister Janet and daughter Paris. Alan joins us now. Al, what more can you tell us? I mean, this is a very fluid situation here. It was a very, the video is a very vivid um, demonstration of the tension that's going on in this very famous family. When you have Janet Jackson, one of the most famous entertainers in the world, you see there uh, with the hat on confronting her niece, uh, Paris Jackson, uh, uh, t uh, appears she's trying to take her cell phone. People who were on the scene told me that she was telling her, give me your cell phone, You're, you shouldn't be tweeting, uh, especially about family matters. Uh, Paris fled into what is the security office while uh, Janet and Randy Jackson, you see there, uh, with their cell phones, taking video of Paris. In fact, during this entire thing, they had, and I've seen uh, most of the video, uh, security video of this incident, they had their cell phones out documenting it. Not sure what they were going to do with that video, but it was what uh, uh, Catherine Jackson's, one of her lawyers, called an ambush of Prince and Paris, a very dramatic, we're not, it's not the last we're going to hear of this, and uh, the controversies are continuing. I expect we're going to see some court action, whether they're criminal charges here. We're going to see some kind of uh, uh, something play out in court in this Jackson family feud. Okay, so who's ambushing who here? So Michael Jackson's siblings are ambushing his children? Is that what we're led to believe? That's what Katherine Jackson's lawyer is saying. Uh, I've been out to Calabasas, saw the scene. Uh, in fact, I went to the house last night and uh, looked around, and I uh, saw they went through the gate. They, what, what they did was they followed Prince and Paris and their car through the gate. There are two gates to get there, and they followed, and the gate actually went down on one of the cars and, ca and, and, and caused some damage. Then they followed them into the driveway, got, got out of the car, and uh, basically confronted them, and then, as you see, and then after this happened, they went inside. What happened inside resulted in Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputies being called to the scene. Uh, a, a battery investigation is underway. No arrests have been made. Uh, but it's a, a, a quite a scene when you've got families fighting inside the home of Catherine Jackson. Right. And, and uh, when we're getting this uh, tweet from Paris, this is the latest tweet. And, Alan, uh, this is what I have, and I want to get your take on it, that Paris tweeted out, nine days and counting, so help me God, I will make whoever did this pay. Any, can you shed any more light on that, Alan? It's, it's dramatic. It gets more dramatic. You know, yesterday she said eight days. Why haven't I heard from my grandmother? Why? There's some other developments I think we're going to hear about. Why? Jermaine Jackson uh, said in a statement a couple of days ago that he put out the children are not blocked from calling them. However, the kids haven't been able to talk to their grandmother, the woman who has custody of them, the woman who has cared for them and raised them since three years ago when their father suddenly died. She was yanked from their lives quickly and uh, without warning and has not been back even to a telephone to call these people. Of course, we've heard Jermaine Jackson say that's because a doctor ordered bed uh, rest for her. Mm. Stay away from phones and stay away from computers. But one phone call to Paris would go a long, long way, mm -hmm. I believe, for Absolutely. that 14-year-old girl. Now, Alan, I, I know through uh, the Dr. Conrad Murray trial, you uh, developed a relationship with Katherine Jackson. Have you had a chance to talk to her? How is she doing? No, if I had a chance to talk to her, the first thing I would do is, is say, why don't you call Paris and Prince and Blanket? Uh, we don't know how she's doing other than the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department sent two deputies out yesterday to Arizona, and they were at the place where she was. But they weren't allowed to see Catherine. But what they did was they talked to two family members who assured them she was safe. That's not enough for Catherine Jackson's lawyer, who right. says she's now going to the FBI to ask for their intervention and investigation. And, and reiterate for everybody, Alan, who, are the, who were the family members that told authorities she's okay? Who is she with? Well, it appears that it, all indications are she's with her oldest daughter, Rebe, and uh, some other family members. Uh, out in Arizona, apparently at a spa near Tucson. We've kind of suspected this since Wednesday, uh, but the sheriff's office uh, confirmed that she is uh, with, uh, in Arizona with family members. Perhaps she's having a good time, but why isn't she mm -hmm. calling her children? This could raise serious in, in, uh, uh, questions about should she retain custody of these children? Now, 
everybody who's seen her that I've talked to uh, recently says she's in fine health and in a good state of mind, and so they're just baffled at what's going on, and that's why they want the FBI to investigate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yes, she's 82, but from all accounts, a strong 82, able to care for the kids. L let's hit on that real quick. So who could be taking care of the kids? Well, I can tell you exactly. First of all, they're Tito's three oldest sons. They're called 3T. They're a singing group. And they're in their 30s, and they are aligned with uh, the, these Michael Jackson's kids against their own uncles uh, in this thing. I've seen their Twitter messages saying it. They're there. Uh, there are probably seven or eight armed security guards at this house. So the kids are safe now. And that's why this thing didn't get even more out of control perhaps yesterday. Also their nanny is there. Uh, Catherine's, one of Catherine's lawyers is staying there. So there's plenty of people at the house to protect and uh, take care of these kids. So they're not alone. Okay. But they are alone in that they need to talk to their grandmother, they say. Yeah. So it's Tito's three sons and a nanny. That's who we believe is basically Well, there are more the people than and that. Maybe more. They're, 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 Right, but they're, they're, they're well protected right now. I can assure you I visited out there. I have no doubt about that. Okay. What about Joe? I mean, here, uh, I, I, he's estranged from Catherine, so to speak, but has he said anything? We heard from him? I wouldn't call him estranged from Catherine because I've seen them together quite a bit. Hmm. And, uh, you know, they've been married a long time, more than 60 years. They just don't live together. But right. they, you do see them together. They do things together. Uh, no, Joe is not to be heard from. He's hmm. normally in Las Vegas. I've not heard anything from him. I've also reached out to uh, LaToya. She's staying way out of this. Uh, but the ones involved are uh, Randy, Jermaine, uh, Janet, and uh, to an extent, Tito. Uh, and um, Reby, of course. Uh, but that's, uh, is, is the, the, the fault lines in the Jackson family have turned into a major earthquake in the last few days. Well, very well put. Alan, we're going to continue to follow this. You and I could continue. There's so many twists and turns as we speak. But great job clarifying. And I want to promise everybody, we'll continue to follow this as we saw that video there. Sad to see.